Senator Cruz. Crime is surging across this country. Murder rates are rising, assault rates are rising, carjacking rates are rising. Last year, 12 major American cities broke records, homicide rates. Portland, Indianapolis, Toledo, Rochester, St. Paul, Tucson, Albuquerque, Louisville, Columbus, Baton Rouge, Austin, and Philadelphia. What do those 12 cities have in common? Every single one of them is run by Democrats, all of them. The crime that we are seeing surging across this country is a direct result of Democrats' soft-on-crime policy. Joe Biden nominated not one, but two of the leading advocates in the country for abolishing the police to senior roles at the U.S. Department of Justice. Every single Senate Democrat voted to confirm two of the leading advocates of abolishing the police to senior positions at the U.S. Department of Justice. When Democrats engage in anti-police rhetoric, when they demonize police officers, it has consequences. President Biden nominated Rachel Rollins to be the U.S. Attorney of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Rachel Rollins is one of the many Soros DAs who, as district attorney in Suffolk County, put out a list of 15 crimes her prosecutors were not allowed to prosecute. When you have soft on crime Democratic DAs that are releasing violent criminals on shockingly low bail, those violent criminals go out and they commit violent crime yet again. And in the face of skyrocketing crime, crime that has women and men across this country deeply, deeply concerned for the safety of their family. The White House press secretary laughs about it. Laughs about what crime? What are you talking about? This administration is so out of touch, they don't understand that when people are getting carjacked, when their homes are threatened, their lives are threatened, that violent crime is real, and when you attack and demonize police officers over and over again, it has a consequence, it is wrong. And I gotta say, at any point, Senate Democrats, one Senate Democrat could have stood up and said enough is enough. If one Senate Democrat on the Judiciary Committee had said no, these advocates for abolishing the police would not be senior members of the Department of Justice. If one Senate Democrat on the Judiciary Committee had said no, Rachel Rollins, this incredibly soft on crime Soros DA, who effectively abolished the police by ordering her prosecutors not to prosecute drug crimes, not to prosecute resisting arrest, not to prosecute trespassing, we're seeing in stores across the country looters breaking in, mocking the law because Democrats won't prosecute them. It's not right. It's not fair. And we need to keep people safe. Senator Markson. 